Welcome to the Smithall School Microsoft Teams help video. The first thing you're going to need to do is download these four apps onto your phone. To do this, you go to the App Store, download them, and then you need to sign into them with your school email address and school password. So, as Mr Doughty said, as soon as you go on the apps, you need to sign in on each one individually. If you use your school email address and password, they should all be absolutely free. Sign in like that, and then you'll get to these pages. If you just click next through them, and the first thing you will come to is your assignment page. The newest assignments will always go to the top of your assignments page. So as long as you keep up to date with it, you should always just look at the top of this. You can always refresh it if you want to, and it'll tell you what you need to do. The other thing you can also do, if you look along the bottom, there is a little button that says Teams. That'll have all your classes on and there's one that says assignments. If you click on the assignments one, it'll also have all your classes on. If you go through each class one at a time and click on it, it'll tell you what assignments you've got due. But the, fir the easiest way to do it is probably to go to the, the first feed tab, click on the latest assignment, and it'll bring you to this page here. You click on view assignment, and then it'll show you what assignments you've got due. You can see on this one, you've got a PowerPoint, presentation that you need to look at. So that just goes through what the lesson is actually about. And if you go back to your assignment page, you will see there is also a Word document to go with it. So that's the connect for that lesson. And then in the My Work, it's got a little Word document. Now, if you open that Word document, initially the layout will all be messed up. So you can see those circles on the left-hand side aren't in order or anything. What you need to do is look in the top right corner. There is a little pencil, a little edit kind of uh, button there. If you hit that edit button, and as long as you're signed in on Word, it will open a format that you can type on. The layout should be better. And at the top of that is the connect, so it's linking to the PowerPoint you just saw. You can type whatever you want in there. Type your answer as long as, or as, well, hopefully long as you want it to be. And then if you go back at the top there, if you go back, it should automatically save it onto your Teams. Okay, so that'll take you back to Teams. Close it down, now that should have automatically saved what you've just done. So just to prove it, I'm just opening it again just to show that what I've just typed is still there. So this area could be blah, 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 is still there. So if you go back, as soon as you're happy with all the work you've done in the top right corner, if you press the button that says hand in, you get that lovely little rocket comes up that tells you you've done it. You can obviously undo hand in. If you want to go back and edit anything, you can click undo hand in. And then you would then check your assignments again, check your next piece of work, or again, go to the assignments tab at the bottom, click on the class you want to look at, and in there, mine isn't set up yet, but in there will be any assignments that you've still got due for that. So that obviously shows you how to use it on a phone. It will work in exactly the same way if you use it on an Android device or a tablet or a, a laptop PC. It'll work in the same way, it's just a slightly different layout, but it's the same principles. Hopefully that allows you to do it nice and easily. If there's any issues, if you look on the school website, the IT email address is on there. If you use that to email them, hopefully they'll be able to help you. Thanks.